Eric Gregory in the house. It's all you, Tom. How's it going? Uh, yeah, you you good. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right. When you guys got ready to play AM, one quarterback or the other maybe didn't make that much of a difference. But I think in this case, if you're having to get ready for Rodgers and Wright, maybe it's different. How are y'all preparing for this game, Eric? Um, we're preparing for either one of them to play. So we know the uh, other quarterback on 14, we know he likes to run the ball a little bit more. He's more athletic than the other quarterback. So we're just preparing it for, for both of them. Yeah, Landon, how, how are they different if, if the right is the guy? Yeah, uh, I feel like he uh, really likes to pull the ball a lot more, like Eric was saying. I mean, they run a lot of uh, – what's it called? I mean, he'll he'll pull the ball a lot, get downhill quick. And, and I mean, but the biggest thing we're preparing for this week is for us just to play a dominant game uh, on all stages. I mean, we got to get we got to get a win for our fans. We got to get a, get a win for us, you know, so we can uh, start the run. Gotcha. Hey, um, I don't know if you saw on social media there were several guys who comment on pass rushing, and they were talking about how you know how you put the moves to use in the Alabama game. I'm just wondering, like, if you saw any of that, and just you know the. The, the, you've also won a couple of awards this week. Yeah, uh, I feel like uh, I finally fully transferred what I've worked in practice every day to the game, and I think it paid off big time. I mean, I, I used a lot of hands and uh, really just had my eyes on what I was attacking. Gotcha. Hey, Eric, um, Landon just touched on maybe how important the game is. Can you maybe express – Kind of with, with what y'all have gone through, um, how how important it is and what it means to be at home and how important the game is. It means a lot. Just get the fans, get our fans back here, get their sport behind us, stuff like that. And kind of like Landon said, man, it, we, we got to start our run. We have to – it really starts with us. We have to make sure our game is right, our little small details. we not really too good on right now to clean those things up to get back on this streak that we want to be on. Thanks. I might circle back. Trey. Yeah, guys, just from a, a psychological standpoint, you've you know, kind of been road warriors these last several weeks and us against the world kind of mentality and stuff. And now you're at home. Is there any concern about, you know, such a, a change, I guess, in mindset of, you know, being in front of your home crowd in your home stadium, not traveling and, and all those things? Plus, I mean, and Mississippi State, you know, they're 0-3 right now in conference versus you guys have been facing one, like, seem like ranked team after another. Yeah, I mean, if there's any change – I'd say it's a positive change, you know. I mean, you get your fans behind you, and we've had something, we got something to fight for, you know. I mean, we've lost five in a row now, and uh, I mean, we don't want to make it six. We want to come out there and play to the best of our abilities and get the win for the people that are in that stadium. Yeah, kind of like Landon said, it's going to be like more of a positive change. And just us, the players and coaches, man, we hate losing. So just, just to get back in our stadium around our fans and get that atmosphere there, it's going to be great for us. Curious from both of you what you see from Mississippi State up front on the offensive line and, you know, any philosophy changes they've had from the late Mike Leach to, you know, what they're doing now and just personnel-wise. Yeah, as a team, I feel like they run the ball a lot more. Uh, they run the ball quite a bit, and they got a really dominant running back. And uh, their offensive line, it's – I think they re they're returning every starter. So they're uh, – they got a lot of age and uh, a lot of knowledge, and they – they're pretty big and play play well against the run. So, I mean, we just got to stop the run and make them throw the ball. Yeah. Yeah. Your thoughts, Eric? You're kind of like what well, they said. They're more like a – you kind of see more, a little more of a run team now. And just the, uh, from the O-line standpoint, they're, they're long, they're tall. So, they they like to use their length a little bit, and they're athletic. So, they'll be able to move and get to the spot that they want to get to. What's it like when you – I mean, both you guys have been around a long time. Eric, you've been long, around a real long time. But you, you probably run into guys, you know, that you face, you know, with other – you know, on other teams. What's it What's it like usually when you see somebody you're familiar with and you're lined up against them? Is it like, oh, it's you again? Or what, what's it like? Well, not really, man. Besides the people that I played with, I mean, I've seen, um, like, some guys from LSU, Bama, stuff like that. I mean, we really don't say too much, you know, on the opposing teams. But after the game, we'll speak a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Like Eric said, I mean, just I mean, it's it's cool playing against people that you've played against for a while, you know, and I mean, I think it could if anything, it helps you. You're able to you know the type of player they are, what some of their weaknesses are. And you just got to correlate it each year and just remember those things. Thanks, fellas. Jackson. 
Yeah, guys, I mean, against Alabama, there was really only a, a couple big plays and the defense, you guys kind of held them in check other than that. I'm just wondering, like, when you're in a groove like that on defense and you're getting three and outs consistently the way you guys had the past couple of weeks, uh, what, like, specifically do you think is, like, the biggest key to that that's going well on the defensive side of the ball? I think everybody just being locked in and knowing their assignment. I mean, when we all know our assignment, we can be very dangerous. So it's just we have to keep that mindset every week and going to every game. Landon, you have anything to follow up on that or? Uh, basically what Eric said, but something I'll add on that is, I mean, I feel like we just fly around really well. Uh, everybody that's out there wants to be out there and loves playing the game of football. So everybody's out there flying around, getting to the football. And, uh, I mean, when you got everybody around the ball, they can't make too many big plays. Uh, Eric, Coach, Coach Pittman talked to us yesterday kind of about the value of having Landon on one side and Tree on the other and offensive lines not, not being able to, you know, key in on both. I'm curious, like, from you on the inside, can you tell like that that's like a stress point for the offensive lines when you guys are going against them? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, we see a lot of um, – we talk about it in, when we film and stuff like that, a lot of the, the uh, tight ends come and chip. So they get a little bit – draw more like, attention on them. So it kind of opens up a little stuff for us and inside, like more one-on-ones and things like that. And they also bring the quarterback to us a little bit more and they'll keep it – make them step up in the pocket. So it's really been big for us inside. And both of you guys have, have been here for a while with Hudson. I mean, what's it been like kind of watching his growth this season? I mean, uh, I think we had a funny quote in our press conference just about how he would get blamed for everything. But this year, you can't really blame him for anything. How much has it been like enjoyable watching his uh, his play improve this season? Yeah, in my opinion, I've, I mean, dude's always been a baller since I've been here. So, I mean, he's finally just going out there and making those big time plays that he probably hasn't made before. But from what I've known him as personally, like in practice, since um, I got here two years ago, he's always been a hard worker and making big time plays. Yeah, he, uh, kind of what Linda said, but he also just looks more confident out there too. You can tell he knows what he's doing. He's more confident in his technique and he like, he knows the system. So, I mean, you can just see that in his play. Daniel. Hey guys, uh, Landon spoke to us post game and said that Coach Williams was telling y'all to remember your name before the Alabama game. Just first of all, what's his message this week? And then secondly, how has he been able to keep y'all motivated week in, week out? Man, he always just, I mean, he came in the meeting yesterday on Monday and his message was, I mean, you got to keep fighting. So we were just going to go into this week, fight, and I guarantee you he's going to have a lot more to say to us throughout the week. That's just, uh, I mean, it's always going to be positivity and making sure we're, I mean, out there flying around at practice and just having a good time. Yeah, kind of like what he said. Also, just um, keep working. Uh, don't slack off. I mean, keep our same mindset that we've been having, like, every week. Go out there and dominate, know our assignment, and just um, work. Thanks, guys. Tom, what's that? Yeah. Eric, what did you think of Landon's work last week, 3.5 sacks against Bama? Man, I was ecstatic for him, man. Just seeing him out there making the play, because like he said, he, he does it at practice a lot. And just seeing him transfer into the game, just knowing that he can do it, I mean, it was big. The whole D-line, the whole defense was happy for him. What, well, Landon, what did you think when you heard you were uh, – I think it's the Nagurski. You got the SEC defensive lineman, but you also got the Nagurski trophy this week. I mean, I was excited. Uh wasn't really something that I looked – too much looked into too much because I don't I mean I don't like thinking about that too much I just like playing ball so my biggest thing was I mean just focus on this Mississippi game Mississippi State game this week and trying to come out with the win yeah and what makes Woody Marks number seven what, what makes him a good back he's really uh I mean really quick he has uh great cuts and he hits the whole I mean runs hard he might be in my opinion one of the best running backs we've seen up to this point this season and uh I mean he's just an overall great back yeah, what uh, what do you think, Eric, on Woody? Yeah, he's a he's a tough physical runner. I mean, he's coming downhill. He's coming. He's lowering his pass. He's not shying away from no tackles or one on one. So uh, he's he's a great back. Probably the top two backs that we played so far this year. All right, thanks, y'all.